Alright, what's up guys? Before I make this beat, I just got a special announcement. I just upgraded my hardware. I got a new computer. Um, this, is a, this is a MacBook Pro. And I just put that together. I won't be using my that. old computer anymore, my old Windows computer. Um, you know, I had some amazing times with this computer, but it's about time to it's, you know it's about to give up. Every time I start it up, there's this weird noise going on and I think you know the hard drive's gonna break. I just I don't know what's gonna happen with it, so I decided to upgrade. So yeah, I'm super excited. Um this is gonna be the first video I make using this computer. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it and I'm honestly pretty new to working on FL Studio with Mac as well, so I'm excited to tackle this new change together. So today it's not really like a formal tutorial or anything. I kind of just want to show you like the workflow on Mac and just show you the differences if you're interested in getting FL Studio for a Mac. This is kind of like my first take on running FL Studio on Mac. I know Mac is great for like making music, especially since you can run Logic and Ableton on it, it's great, but I want to see how FL Studio runs on Mac because, you know, I've always been an FL Studio guy. Now, before I kind of dive into my first take on, you know, working FL Studio through Mac and kind of showing you guys the workflow and everything, if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. It really means a lot to me. Help my channel grow. Drop a like on this video and drop a comment. So, yeah, let's get straight to it. First off, like, it's a really great feel and just, you know, the, the, the touchpad is really great and the keyboard just feels amazing and um, it's a lot easier to operate than a Windows computer, especially with like most Windows hardware. You know, with this MacBook Pro, there is like the touch bar thing. I wish there were more options, like, you know, if you could scroll on it, that would be great, but maybe, you know, in future future versions of the Mac, but let's just make a quick beat. Um, I'm not going to, you know, do a lot of things from scratch. Obviously, I'm going to do a lot of, I'm going to work with a lot of loops <laughs> and kits. So I actually want to work with a with a guitar. Um. So yeah, that sounds great. Um. Another thing you want to be really careful of getting Mac is especially when you're getting like a newer model and it comes with the most recent software. I think this is Catalina. If you have old software that you used on Windows, a lot of it like Mac, like the Mac operating system just won't let you install them. So that's like one of the tricky parts that you want to be careful of when getting a Mac is that a lot of your old plugins might not work. They kind of suck because I had to buy new plugins and stuff and it was just uh, not used to what I'm working with. But and a lot of the plugins are still available. So we're going to use Halftime. Uh, I decided to install Halftime because it's actually pretty cheap and you, you, you can get it for like 12 bucks, I think. And actually, I think it sounds a lot better than Grow Speed. So I'm going to throw this on. If you see my other videos, you know I'm like a huge free plugins guy. Like I'll go crazy over free stock plugins. So this is a plugin called Labs um, by Spitfire, and it just has like the most amazing piano it sounds. Just perfect for like a sad boy type beat. Like oh, I'm gonna make today, and this piano just sounds so it sounds so amazing. So yeah, I'm gonna lay down some chords here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna make it sound a little bit bigger and like a little bit wider because the guitar is just, I want it to take up more space, right? So um, I'm gonna add a little bit of Valhalla on it. Valhalla is like, honestly, if you put it on anything, it sounds amazing. This makes it sound so wide and beautiful. A few moments later Um, 
the shortcuts are honestly really easy to remember. It does take a little bit of getting used to if you're trying to transfer from Windows to Mac, but just like, you know, just the small differences, like instead of control, whatever, it's command. And then instead of, you know, shift, there's just option, or instead of like alt, there's, you know, the option button and small things like that. But in reality, it, like the keyboard just feels a lot better and it just feels a lot more smooth. I really like the fact that I don't even need to um I don't even need to attach like an external mouse or keyboard to do all this like I could literally just work I think the good thing about Mac is that it's so portable and then you don't really need to like like for example on my Windows computer it was really really hard to work using the trackpad and I just couldn't like unless I was on a plane or something I couldn't I couldn't do it but with this it's like so portable even though it's 15 inch and it's like pretty big it's still relatively portable and it's really easy to do sessions with and the workflow is just a lot quicker. Cut, cut out some of the lower mids. Got some RC. Um, give it that, give it that vinyl feel. See now I want to throw on some drums. Um, so obviously I could throw my own drums on this and you know create my own patterns, but that's gonna take a while. And the whole reason I got this Mac actually is because I wanted a faster computer that you could bring to session than just cook up right on the spot. Um, you know I'm I'm more going towards like producing in sessions and I want to collaborate with more artists and that's like kind of the direction I'm going in. I want to see how fast I can do it and, uh, and you know a great way to kind of speed up your workflow is is just to use loops and stuff. So. Um, let's see, let me use something from my own drum kit. It seems, slice, slice map this. Cause sometimes when you auto stretch um, a drum, a drum loops, it just sounds kind of distorted and weird, so. You already know it's the 808. Um, this is from my own drum kit. Uh, volume one is available for, for, for you to download for free.
So yeah, I mean, we're making this beat pretty quickly. Um, maybe just the, like a few more percussive, like percussions, um, to add on top of that, and then we're done. Oh yeah, that has kind of like that clock vibe, right? Sounds like a clock. <laughs> uh, let's see. Honestly, like if you're really familiar with FL Studio on Windows, like on Mac, it's pretty much the same thing, except for just having to relearn a few shortcuts, which, which I you know I'm struggling a little, which I had to struggle a little bit first, but honestly, you'll get used to it. Use this kick. He's gonna fall. I'm really excited for like the type of stuff I'm gonna end up uh, making on the on this computer. All right, con Command Shift to select, and then Command Shift L. Okay, there we go. Because, you know, back when I was using my Windows, and which is you know, like a week ago, because, you know, before I, I saw myself more as just like a bedroom producer, like I just make beats in my bedroom and then post them online and stuff like that. But, you know, now I'm, I, I'm, I'd be excited to like work more in sessions and um, more, work more with artists in person just because like you, got, you can get a lot more done and you can, you know, instill your own creative vision and, and some projects and stuff which i think is is really cool and a skill that not everyone who knows how to make beats can have and i want to build upon that so that's the biggest reason why i decided to upgrade because my other windows computer just won't let me do that it's just too inefficient to work with it's slow and i you know i always had to connect it to a power source which you know wasn't the most convenient But now, like, I pretty much just made an entire beat, and that could have easily been done within a session that I could have cooked up in, like, you know, within 20 minutes. Um, just uh, split by channel. I guess my closing remarks on just like my review of FL Studio as a general, you know, one of my first times making a beat on FL Studio Mac is I'm go over the pros, right? Pro is it's very mobile, like it's very easy to carry around. You can do it without dragging around a heavy mouse or like a, a, a keyboard, right? It's very convenient to use. Like the trackpad is just so fluid and controllable. That's super easy to navigate around and operate just using everything within the computer so it's really portable um it runs really well like right now i think what's my audio setting so you know how like um if, if you have like a smaller buffer length um like you're a lot of times your cpu can't handle it because 
um, it's processing so quickly. Like, especially if you have to record things live. Like, if you have to record someone, um, you know, you know, someone's vocals, or if you have to record a guitar, you have to set your buffer length to pretty low. Um, or, or, or if you have a really small buffer length, it, it's really hard for your CPU to process. But I can run everything here, even with a small buffer length, and with all the plugins that I have. Right? As you can see, it's not, it's not destroying my CPU. So that's another good thing is that it's the, the CPU. I have i seven Intel. If you guys are are, are curious, it, like the processing is just enough for like all of your audio needs, and it won't crash a computer. Um, so that's like the second good part, and the third really amazing the part is like you guys can't really hear it because I'm 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 using headphones, and obviously I don't want to like make this beat while using my mic at the same time because you know you're, you're gonna have like you're gonna hear the audio twice, but. The speakers on this thing is just so amazing. Like the first few beats that I made using this computer, I did without my headphones at all. And even when I plugged them back in, it sounded amazing. Like these just have really, like you can hear the bass really clearly. They're just really clear speakers. So that's like the third pro of upgrading to a MacBook for, for making beats um, and running FL Studio on it is that like basically you have everything you need in your computer right now. Um, it's really easy to navigate and also like the CPU just handles everything so smoothly. The cons is first, a lot of your plugins won't work, right? And I'm talking about like for all of you who like to crack plugins, it's going to be really hard to do that on Mac. So um, I'd say budget yourself wisely if you're going to upgrade to a Mac. And the second thing is, you know, if, if you're... If, if you're really, really used to Windows and you, you really know your way around the shortcuts, it is going to take maybe three or four days to get used to the new keyboard and like the new keys, like the command versus control key on the keyboard or, or like the option key or stuff like that. But, you know, that's that's just a small minor inconvenience. And the third thing is um, like if you want to like the just the max operating system is very close and hard to navigate. There's a lot of restrictions set by just Mac itself. For example, when I was, it took me so long to figure out how to record OBS, like desktop audio, just because the Mac system won't let me record desktop audio from my OBS studio. So if you're doing streams or if you're doing other stuff like that, it's gonna be kind of hard to navigate like the strict rules set by Mac versus Windows. Like you can literally do anything and it'll, it'll allow you to do it. But with that being said, I think it was a worth while investment for me to upgrade and I'm really looking forward to like all the new music I'm gonna make on this computer. So that's all I have for today. If you found this video to be cool or you know helpful in any way, please hit the subscribe button. Um, I'm giving away my free drum kit if you guys are interested. So you know once you subscribe, please grab that free drum kit and drop a like on this video. Just show your support. Thank you so much. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace out.